Kings Metalheads, welcome to another edition of the Friday 13th YouTube channel. Now today you're going to be listening to an audio interview which was conducted by New York's thrash death metal act Demolition Hammer. Demolition Hammer toured with, in 1991 with Morgoth and Obituary and this is the tour I caught the interview with. Now if you saw the band on that tour you'd know how great the tour was. Now this interview was conducted with the guitarist James and drummer Vinny Days who sadly passed away later on. A fantastic drummer, R.I.P. brother. So take this interview for what it is. Like I say, it was recorded back in 1991 on the tour. Uh, please share on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and other sites if you can. Thank you. Also post on Facebook uh, post groups. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay metal, be safe and I'll speak to you soon. More interviews coming soon. Cheers. Demolition Hammer with James and Vinny. First of all, James, could you tell me a bit about the band's history? What's that? Could you tell me first of all about the band's history? Oh, sure. Uh... Me and Steve started the band, we used to be in another band called Overlord. Uh, we started playing together about four years ago. And uh, when the heavier thrash music came out, we decided we wanted to do that. So the singer we had at the time quit the band, and uh, we went ahead and we did our first demo, Skull Fracturing Nightmare, with uh, our old drummer, John Salerno. And um, he decided he didn't want to, he wanted to become a policeman, he didn't want to... Uh, he didn't want to play in the band anymore. So he quit. And on Vinny, we were looking for somebody to do a logo for us. And uh, we came across Vinny, found out he was a drummer. And he came down and he jammed with us. And right away we knew he was the guy. And uh, about six months later, uh, in November 1988, we got Derek because we decided we wanted a second guitar to make it more heavier live sound. And uh, we've been together since then, since November of 88. Right, so can you tell me a bit about uh, how many demos you've done? Uh, we had, uh, in 1988 we did Skull Fracture Nightmare, and uh, in 1989 we went and did Necrology, and we decided to uh, go ahead and spend a lot of money on it and make a nice package, and uh, you know, uh, spend some money on the production and everything, and uh, well, here we are. So can you tell me how many copies of your first demo you sold? Uh, the first one? I'd say about, uh, we sold about 800. Um, there's over 1,500 out there that we sent out, you know, for free to wreck companies and magazines and stuff. But uh, we sold about 800. The second demo. The second one, um, about the same because we got signed, you know, not too long after it came out. And we decided now, finally, let the right company handle all this. We don't, we don't have to, you know, be mailing things and work, work, work with the money and stuff. So, about the same. About Rodin. Could you tell me what happened with Rodin Records? I understand he was going to sign with those originally. Uh, well, you know, um, with them, they uh, they took a real long time with the contract, you know. And uh, they offered us a smaller budget than Century Media, and they didn't promise us any tour or anything else. And they're a very big company, and like they have a tendency to drop a band if they don't sell a lot of records without doing any promotion for them. And uh, when we spoke to the Century Media guys, you know, that we, they're a small company and they have to do the right thing in order to get their company bigger. So we felt it'd be in our best interest to go with them because they would push us more. And, uh, hold on. There. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, like I was saying, we decided that it would be in our best interest to go with them because they were just starting out and they would have to get behind their bands and really push them. And uh, they promised us this tour and, you know, uh, that's what we really wanted to do, is get out in front of the people, let them hear our stuff. So where did you record the album and who produced it? Um, we recorded the album in uh, Mars Sound in Tampa, Florida. And uh, we had Scotty Burns produce. He did a really great job for us. Uh, we did the album uh, very rushed. We played, uh, we, only, we only worked at night, all night, you know, just for one week. And it was very, you know, very tense and, you know, we had to get everything done in time. It was kind of tough, but Scott really came through for us and did a great job. Can you tell me um, a bit about the cover, the album? Who did it? Uh, Century Media did that. You know, uh, where they wanted to know the title of the of the album, which was Tortured Existence, and uh, they just hired their artist, and he went ahead and did that. We didn't even have any say in that uh, because in order for the album to come out in time for the tour, we would have had it. You know, we could have. You know, could have been a little better, I think, but... Uh, Are you pleased with it, the way it's turned out, though? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't hate it, but I think it could be a little bit better. But, uh, like I said, if we would have said we don't want this, you know, the album would have never been out of time. Mm -hmm. 
Right, could you tell me a bit about the songs on the album, what songs are on the album that are on the demo? Uh, well, on the album, uh, the uh, Central Media wanted all six songs that were on the chronology. They, they felt that uh, that would be a very good first album for us, and uh, we wrote two new ones, which were also Gel Remains and uh, Parasite Epitaph. Those are the two new ones on the, on the record. And on the CD, there's a song called Cataclysm, which was from our first demo, it's called Fletcher and Right, um, can you tell me who your influences are? Um, I would like, uh, Sepultura, Creator, Slayer, um, uh, Megadeth, anything, you know, yeah. lots of different things. Oh, Thrush, or yeah, yeah, like anything without writing Thrush? Uh, no. Yeah, well, to tell you the truth, I like some, I like, uh, classical music sometimes, you yeah. know, uh, well, I like all different kinds of music. I used to play in the symphony orchestra, and, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, a one-track mind with metal, metal, metal. Mm-hmm. Right. Trash, trash. Mm-hmm. Uh, could you tell me about how uh, you're doing a promo video for this album? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, we, we're going to talk uh, Central Media will talk to us about that once the tour is over. What song would you consider? Uh, yeah, the idea is what you think the video will be like. Right. Uh... I don't know, I think um, probably 44 caliber brain surgery, yeah. uh, that's the most... Uh, Could you tell me a bit about these, these song titles you come up with, who, who writes the material? Uh, well, we all pretty much, all four of us, collaborate on the music, uh, and uh, me and Steve write all the lyrics and the titles. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, uh, we try to be more intelligent about it than just, you know, death, death, killing, killing, yeah. you know, just nonsense. It seems to be, uh, your lyrics are supposed to be, uh, seem to be about hospitals a lot. Well, um, <laughs> it seems to do with a hospital. I guess you're talking about infectious hospital waste. See, in the States, we have a problem where the hospitals dump all their garbage into the ocean. Yeah. And then it washes up on the beach. So you're a and it's a, Right. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. But it's, uh, it's, a, it's a contemporary problem that we have there. And uh, we felt it would be a good subject to write about. Mm-hmm. All right. And um, could you tell me what you thought of tonight? Well, I was very pleased and with tonight. Uh, uh, the first two shows we played in the UK, in uh, Liverpool and... Uh, what the hell was the other one? Manchester. Manchester, right. Those those didn't go too well uh, for us because the album has uh, not been, you know, it's, uh, they're having some kind of problem with their uh, distribution in the UK right now. Revolver, I heard Revolver, uh, they bought a new computer system for the distribution and it fucked up and everything is behind yeah. schedule. All right. Uh, the crowds were, uh, those two crowds were good for uh, Morgoth and Obituary, but uh, last night we played in Wrexham in Wales. And we got a great response, and here tonight also, I was really pleased with the audience. So, um, can you tell me you've toured with in your career as a band? Well, uh, I'll tell you the truth, this is our first tour. Uh, in New York, when uh, uh, we played uh, with Nuclear Assault, um, Dark Angel, uh, who else? Uh, Hmm. I'd say those are the only two big bands we've played with. Mm-hmm. Pretty much around our area, you know, we, we're the headlining band and all. And what, about the, what about bands with you? Like, demo bands? What bands have you played with? Oh, God, lots of them. Uh, there's, um, there's a band called Beyond Reason, uh, where we come from. They're a little less heavy than we yeah, are, they're more technical, but they're very, very good. Um, yeah. Good friends of ours. Uh, we play with Immolation, uh, we play with IRC. Uh, yes, it is dressing room. Have you played with Biohazard? Biohazard, um, no. So we, were supposed to, we were supposed to, and uh, they pulled out of the show at the last minute. Someone Mackie now, or Crow or something, is his band. What's that? Somebody out of the Crow Mags, Mackie, is his band, is it? Yeah, right. Any th- any other questions that you think might be added to your think I've ever said? <laughs> um, I think you pretty well covered it. Uh, um, just like to uh, thank all our supporters and everybody who's uh, behind us, and uh, we love being here in Europe. It's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. People are great. Who would you like to tour with? Oh, I'd love to tour with uh, Creator or Sepultura. Yeah, you know, uh, we think that would be really good for us. See, like uh, this tour. The other two bands are like total death metal. Um, we were kind of worried about that, that we wouldn't, the crowds wouldn't like us, you know, because we're not like that. And uh, But it hasn't been that way.
No, that's another Bob, question I wanted to it? ask you. What, how would you describe your music? Um, shit. I would say uh, Speed Thrash, I guess. Speed Thrash, you won't say there's any death metal in it. No, not yet. Maybe after this tour I'll we'll draw some influences, you know, but uh, I wouldn't say. Not not in the context of, you know, the way these guys play, you know. Mm -hmm. To me, the death metal is very slow music with the voice, with the, you know, with that <laughs> yeah. voice. And to tell you the truth, I didn't even really like it until I started listening to these two bands, and now I really like it. Yeah. Have you got any new material out oh, yet for um, next album? Yeah, we've got uh, about four or five songs you know, already done. And uh, could you tell me what they're called? Uh, we don't have names yet for them. You know, we write the music and we take our time with the lyrics and the titles. We we try to uh, we try to see what the music sounds like, and then. We go on from there. Yeah, the so when do we expect to see you again in England? Oh, well, I hope next year again. Headlining or? Well, at least maybe being headlining would be great, but if we could be the second band next time yeah. around, that'd be great too. Okay, yeah. right then. Thanks a lot, James, for the interview.